Hey guys, so this has been a long awaited video that everyone's been asking for and it's how I make my phone cases. So um, let's go to the one I used to have which is just like this. Um, I'll probably do a close up of it right now. So this is my first phone case and as you can see this one has the chain, the two keys, this main piece and then my name right there. And this is what I have right now. So I have the HTC EVO 4G and then this is what the back looks like and I'll do a close up of this one too. Okay, and then this is the newer one that I just made. The biggest difference between these two, if you look clo if you saw closely, um, is that this one has larger rhinestones. So you see, like throughout the phone case, they have bigger rhinestones, and in this one. There's more small rhinestones and just a few big ones, and um, we'll talk about. Well, I'll talk. I'll, okay, this is why I made a new phone case. If you saw clear uh, closely, the rhinestones look really cloudy. That's because the glue that I was using. Okay, I took my phone with me when we went fishing, and sitting in the sun, so the glue started to melt, which is really weird because the rhinestones did not come off, but the glue just kind of melted. So. The um, spots in between where there are no rhinestones, it kind of would stick to my hand and then it would stick on my hand on the rhinestones. So now the rhinestones look really ugly and cloudy. So for the next one I made, I was going to use a different glue or try a different glue and um, I wasn't going to do the chain anymore. Just because the material is so cheap, it's not like a really good metal, so it's like fading color already. Same with the keys, because it has two keys right here. So yeah, this one, if I make it like this, so it has one main piece right here, and another main piece, and then it has like just rhinestones. So that's what this one looks like. And I did that to match my new Hello Kitty um, keychains here. So yeah. Okay, so let's go to the material. I guess I want to say everyone, everything's really cheap, but it's oh, it always costs me a lot of money because I'm always buying a little bit of everything. So, like for example, this little pack of 150 small rhinestones is $2.99. It took me two packs of these to do the front side, just the front piece, which is just this outer edge. And so I bought three of these, so that's ten dollars for just this. But it's much better if you buy a larger one like this. It comes like this and um, it has different sizes and they're, what I always use the most of are the two smallest ones because there's always one empty one two small ones. I always use two of those. So it took me two packs of these just for the back. Okay. And this one has like 800 pieces. So there's like I think 200 pieces of both sides. Which is much better than buying. I mean this is $2.99. So that was much better than buying this for $2.99. You know what I'm saying? But then they ran out of these. <laughs> I bought them all. So I ended up just buying this these separately, which I didn't want to, but I had to. Okay, and then another thing I got, I think this is $2.99 as well. So this is, these are the pearls, and they're half pearls, see? So like, it would actually stick and lay flat on the phone, which I do have that on both of the cases. And then, another thing I got for this new case was a packet of colorful rhinestones to match the main piece right here. So this pack in itself was $6.99 so it's a little expensive but there are two sheets in here and I mainly only used the small pieces and I didn't use that much but I really wanted this these colorful rhinestones on my phone case so I paid that much for that and I forgot how much this was but it's another case too like this with different sizes 
and it's really cool because you can use the case um, but you still have a toothpick so I guess I'll go through the process of how I do it I take the glue and this is what I used this time around and it's different this is actually new I did not even know like what the hell it was but it had more product in here than the one I was gonna buy um, because it has two fluid ounces and usually they're only one fluid ounce and they cost they both cost the same so I want to try this first um, it's not like it was more it was cheaper it was actually more expensive but I thought a little bit for a little more you know why not so it's called quick hold contact adhesive and it says it's clear which it is because I actually bought uh, one of the Elmer's glue one of their like one of their really, I forgot what it's called, I bought one of the Elmer's glues. I was really disappointed because when it dries, it dries a white color. It comes out clear, but it dries like very cloudy and then it turns white. So it's really ugly. I did not like that. I actually do like this because when it sticks onto your hand, it will just rub off. It's kind of like a, um, I don't know what you would call it, kind of like modeling glue. Because it dries really fast. Um, so it made this phone case a little harder to make since the glue dried so fast so you can only do a little bit at a time. It's like you want to put the glue on first. So I use a toothpick. Just get a little and dab on the phone case. And then I use the same toothpick because it's a little tacky. It's not like, like a crazy super glue. So since it's a little tacky, I'll just use a toothpick to pick up the rhinestone and put it on. But you need to do that really fast because by the time you pick up the first rhinestone, it's going to start drying already because it dries really fast. And then it takes, it says it takes a couple hours for it to fully set and be it's like most strength, but I don't know. For me, it's a little difficult because it dried so fast, it was really hard to do the edges. Um, just because it took me a little more time. And then so a few of them fall out here and there just because I know that I try to force it on when it's the glue dried already so I need to reapply the glue. But that's really about it, not too much. Um, yeah, so I think this is really about it, right? I hope I'm not forgetting anything. But if you guys have any questions, please like leave it in the comments down below or tweet me or something. I don't know. So I hope you guys learned something for this video, or hopefully, hopefully it was just helpful. So that's about it, and thanks for watching. Peace and love, guys.